face looks so clear in this. Hi guys, happy Sunday or happy Valentine's Day. Hey peeps, so we've just come from church, well kind of, had a good service today. I was so tired because I haven't really been sleeping a lot, um, I'm really tired, but anyway. So after church, yeah, she was meant to get a haircut and I was meant to get a manicure and pedicure. Do you like my nails? I don't know if you can see it. I wasn't sure about this color. I don't know if you can see. But anyway, yeah, I wasn't sure about the color because I quite like red, but I'm trying to like not do so much red because it's quite obvious at work and we're not really meant to. So yeah. Um, but guys, why do I always have drama in my life? Well, not, it's not drama, but anyway, let me just tell you the story. It's a short story. So I went to get my nails done. Sorry. And Yasha went to get a haircut. I'm not strange. Yasha went to get a haircut, but it was closed. So he did do his. So I thought I was just, I was contemplating because I had to go somewhere. Yeah, he's looking a bit rough. But you know, kind of like the rough look. some bit so um what happened yep so i went to get my nails done and i was doing my nails blah, blah blah and sometimes i get this finger on both hands um with glitter on it but with this color i wasn't sure if i should get glitter with it i was like oh i think it kind of looks nice kind of plain so i wasn't sure so i was asking the lady who was doing my nails oh um what do you think should i get glitter but she didn't really speak English fluently, so I thought that, um, you know. You're in the wrong lane. No, you're in the right oh. lane, then you're moving. So, um, fluently, or, well, I don't know, she, I'm not sure she understood me, because when she was telling me stuff, I didn't really understand her. And so, um, she basically then painted my nails glitter. She painted glitter on my nails, and I was like, oh, actually, I'm not sure. Because initially I just wanted her opinion if she thought it would look better with or without. But she was like, oh yeah, yeah, glitter, glitter. She went to get glitter and she put my nails in and I was like, mm, I don't know. So there's another lady in the shop who I believe may be the owner of the shop. I don't know. I'm just saying that because she's quite um, vocal. And um, so she was looking our direction. So I thought, oh, like she's quite vocal. So let me ask her her opinion. So I was like, oh, um, she was looking over. So I looked at her and I was like, I'm not sure about this glitter. Um, hoping that she would be like, oh yeah, it's nice. Or maybe it's not, because I've seen her do that with other customers. So, um, so you know, I was expecting her to be like, oh yeah, it's okay. Or, or last, last time actually she did my nails and she was like, oh yeah, um, go with the glitter that's my advice but some people might not like it but blah, blah blah so I was expecting her to give me the same advice that she gave me last time whether I should go with it or not after all she's works in a nail salon and she should be able to give me advice right of what look good or what doesn't look good so um, I look over and I'm like oh I'm not sure and she's like you're not sure and I'm supposed to know next time you come to do your nails make sure you think about what you want before you come you, before you come here and I was just like wow I was like Sorry, I was so shocked that she said that like I think she was just having a bad day no but like I was just like even if you're having a, a bad you know day it's Valentine's Day maybe she wanted to be with her sweetheart even if you're having a bad day I don't think there's <laughs> no like I personally think that customer service is key yeah even if you're like whatever you're selling even if your products are rubbish but you have excellent customer skills or customer service skills people always kind of like are drawn towards you or may even want to buy the products that they know is rubbish anyway because of your skills like for example we signed up for like this fruit and veg thing delivery because the girl knocked on our door and she was so friendly and she kind of sold it to us but afterwards when we thought about it we were like this is not really like productive or really is, the fridge. 
<laughs> or really worth it but she was just so nice so polite so chatty like her customer service was excellent so i had like when someone gives you good customer service you kind of buy into them rather than into their products so i always think customer service is so key anyway so like i was just so shocked guys i was just silent from then on because i was just like i can't believe it like she was just rude there was no need how can she tell me well if you don't know what you want how am i supposed to know next time make up your mind before you get here and i'm just like and i heard a customer in the shop saying oh you know she wasn't talking directly to me but i think she was telling someone was else a customer one of the people who working? no it's another customer she said to me oh, sorry guys let me move my little arms here So she basically, um, there's another lady in, in the shop who was saying to another customer saying, um, oh, you know, I get used to this. You just get used to it, but I'm sure she doesn't mean any harm. Like, I don't care if you meant any harm or not. That was so rude, man. And I've been to, I've been to that shop so many times, like quite a few times. And so... No, but like, else. sorry, no. Like, no, <laughs> I, she don't, you I, don't deserve a tip when you're, I'm one of those you're being rude to the customer. Find, I, I try to try find the good. I always try to find the good in people, but that was just so rude. So, it looks like I probably will not be going back there. And to be honest, it's just the only reason I go there is because it's next to church. It's just convenient on a Sunday. But there's one in my, there's a nail shop in my area. I'm just going to go to the one there. And... Like, I'm sure they'll be more friendly because it's such a small area. You can't really be horrible to people because no one will turn up and your business will not succeed. So, yeah, I was just like, I mean, a lot of people go yeah, there that's anyway. The of, that's the type of place where you just put a poster up and say, this shop is bad. <laughs> and like, I'm not going there anymore. Like, I mean, when I usually go there, I see them like talking to um, all the other regular customers and be like, oh, how coming here blah blah and stuff like that and I thought I was quite regular until today yes today so I guess I will not be going back there because I do not appreciate people being rude to me just because I didn't like the glitter like is that a sin have I committed murder like I just think that was so uncalled for so unnecessary like there was no need for it so yeah like anyway I was just silent and I was just like really like but i'm not a rude person in that sense anyway like if someone was rude to me i don't know i must be really out of my head to be rude back to them but in situations like that i'm just like i'll just get quiet and i'm like okay cool i ain't coming back no need for that so but i'm sure she's got enough customers so she don't need me there but that was just not nice that was just not nice guys so yeah I suppose we're all human, as Nasha said, maybe. Maybe she did have a bad day and took it out on me yeah. in that second. It's not just a fireball. It's not nice. Fire. It's, your, it's your customers. You can't treat customers like that. But who knows? Who knows? So, yeah, guys, I just thought I'd let you know how I felt. So, yeah. And hopefully Nasha's planning something nice for Valentine. Spoiled all my plans. Spoiled plans. Yes, but how come I spoiled it? Because only the time. The full, the, the fact that um, you you were going to do your thing yesterday spoiled my other plan. Because basically um, we were meant to go. I was trying to plan for us to go, either go to like Cardiff or one of those places um, far away. Sorry. So that we could go for a spa spa weekend. Just go get massages all sorts and I found the place that people said it was available and then what did you do you, oh, you told me that you, you had to be able to drive back and I was like yeah I was like yeah you can drive back but then afterwards I was like that's deep because that's six hours gone of you driving so I was like oh might as well change that plan then then I tried to find one for a single day and they all said nope nope so oh, well. that got well. both I guess that's the government. And then thing. now Sorry. it took so long. It took so long at the nail shop. And I even got insulted basically as well. So But you know, I still got my boo, so Yeah, I'm well, happy. You can hug, watch a movie, lie down. Bit just <laughs> What should you do while you're driving? <laughs> so yeah guys, 
Yeah, let us know. Cool. Peace out. Bye, guys. Peace